Hey guys, I'm Sarah Louise Ryan, dating expert and founder of Love Lessons and Love Connections. And I'm here with Jenny Smith, and she's the founder of Old Style Dating, dating expert and really uh, a modern day Cupid helping people connect online. So Jenny and I today are gonna to be talking about an online dating 101, how to, um, learning how to, from Jenny, about how to create a profile, how to converse with people online, how to create a, a strategy to set you up for online dating success because Denny really is the online dating expert. So hi Denny. Hello, good afternoon. It's so exciting that we're doing this and you've had so many people sign up haven't you since you, um, I guess since we've been in lockdown. Yeah definitely it's become more popular so that's good. I think it's given people time to think and think, oh, maybe I will, I will find a partner now. You know, maybe I've got that time to look and I'm ready. So that's good. Yeah. So you think that this, this time that people have been locked down has given them space to kind of take stock on what they want romantically? Yeah, definitely. I mean, some people, even in their, in their profile, when, when they apply, obviously I read all their applications, have said this has given me a chance to, um, you know, look at my life and what I want. And I think, yes, I'm, I'm ready, even though we can't meet yet. Why not set up a profile and start chatting to somebody? And have you seen many successes while you've um, been self-isolating yourself and keeping tabs on all those people that apply? Well, one, one um, this week that I was really, really excited about, when I first read the email, it was... I'm sorry, I'm going to leave your site. And I was like, oh no. And then it was because I've met somebody from your site. <laughs> so that was really, really nice. And then literally five minutes later, she emailed me with a similar message saying, you know, thank you. He's really nice. He makes me laugh. And um, yeah, we're leaving you, but obviously going on uh, for better things. So I was really chuffed about that. Isn't that... Um so at first you obviously thought it was like a gripe coming through yeah, the oh God, yeah. but isn't it so telling of the kind of people that you attract when they first start by apologizing by having to leave you even though they've found yeah. lost yeah. yeah so i've got a really because we're still small and we're in the hundreds i'd like to think um and i'm very hands-on it's me that personally deals with members and nobody else i don't delegate that so I think they feel that they can write and tell me that, which is really nice, because normally I guess on site, they just leave and that's it. But they've both actually told me, so polite and nice, that they've actually taken the time to tell me that they've, you know, met each other and fallen in love and that they're off. So I thought that, that was really is sweet. so lovely. Okay, so uh, let me put a scenario to you. So I've jotted down... Um, some questions here because I didn't want to miss any of the good stuff out and um, a scenario that let's say I joined your site and I'm brand spanking new to online dating I feel a bit dubious a bit worried a bit scared that I'm not going to connect with people and um, what would you say in the first instance um, about old style dating that will put my mind at ease about navigating dating online itself well I think um, with us couple of important things is it's personally run and I know I keep on about that but I think that does reassure members because um, you can speak to me you can actually come and meet me so if you are a bit nervous and I have had people ring me and say you know so many different scenarios you know I've been widowed or I, you know I haven't been on dates and I'm a bit nervous and they know that they can speak to a real person and on the end of the phone they often say it's so nice being able to speak to somebody and somebody that is genuine and that cares so I think that's one thing knowing that um, I'm definitely here to look after you um, and if you need any help with your profile or your picture or I suggest anything um, and if you log on and I and I think oh there's a guy there I think might be suited I will step in and say oh Sarah um, I think there's a guy there that you might want to have a peep at um, no. Oh yeah, I do that. So uh, I enjoy doing that. So yeah, just <laughs> knowing that this is like, my matchmaker. You're really like meddling it amongst all of your clients and members. I'm just so passionate. I just really, really want the whole reason of setting it up because I really want people to meet and fall in love. That is just my number one thing. It's not money. It's just I really want people to fall in love and meet. 
it's all about the people way before any profit. Yeah. Okay, so um, why do people use online dating in general? I guess in usual circumstances, we know right now that online dating is booming because you yeah. know human beings we we crave connection and we want to meet people, yeah. and fundamentally we we crave that sense of belonging, especially in love. Yeah. So why do people come to online dating in usual circumstances? Because I think, being honest, it's very popular. So um, it just seems the norm now, doesn't it? You know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, nobody had really heard of it. But it's just so norm now. Every, I don't think you'll find one person that's not heard of online dating. So it's one, it's the norm. And two, a lot of people, you know, maybe they're a bit shy. And you can do it at your own speed and your own comfort. So when, when you're ready to log on or when you're ready to chat, and when you're ready to set your profile up and you can feel comfortable and safe doing it in, in your own home at your own speed. And I think um, also people like everything instant and you know that you can join and all, already you can view, you know, you could get dressed up and go out for a night and you might not even look at somebody all night or see anybody. So, you know, pretty much with dating sites, there's going to be instant people on there for you to look at. So I don't think it's going to almost. Yeah. So it's not going to go away. Um, and obviously, you know, society and 21st century, everything is very tech, isn't it? So it's not, not going to go away. And what is it that makes old style dating a safe place to join a pool of singles? Um, well, we, do vet people for a start um not going to give all our tricks away what we do because that will help all the spammers but every single profile is actually read by a person you know literally every word in the profile is read you know zoomed in on the photograph to check everything um and even if we're well, I'll tell you a story. We actually, this year alone, have denied 1,032 people. That's We've this year alone. The first quarter, Denny. Yeah. <laughs> literally, literally, you know, there's, there's loads. And even if we're a bit suspicious, but we're not quite sure, we'll do further checks, or even I will email them, and, and I'll be honest, and I'll say, hi, Sarah, thanks for joining, but your application is flagging up as a spammer. So I'm going to be upfront, and you know, could you tell me a bit more about you? And then, depending on your, um, you know, reply, you're either going to be denied or um, accepted. And um, so it's really thorough, and it's very time-consuming. And we say that we do the swiping so that you don't have to. You know, we spend hours going through every single application to make sure everybody is real and following the same ethos. As, as we like. And when they manage to get through that vetting process and they land themselves in a space where their profile has been accepted, what do you recommend people should put in their profile that makes for a good read that will really connect with those pre-vetted, I guess, suitors that sit on your site? Yeah, yeah. Well, everything positive. So not negative Nelly, you know, um, oh, you know, my husband ran off with my best friend and now I'm looking to date. So, you know, nothing like that. Um, definitely honest, though, because you've got to be honest, but a bit about yourself, but, you know, not an essay. So you, it's trying to find that balance. So you want to show your interests, but you don't want to bore them. You know, if you say you like war films, you don't want to list every war film that you've watched. Uh, and I love war films. So, yeah. so just, you know, a bit about yourself. You know, it's fine to say you've got children. It's fine to say that you love family. Uh, you know, you've also got to say a bit what you're looking for. You know, if you, if you um, are allergic to pets, then I think maybe you should say that because you don't want to, a woman sort of, or a male, you know, think, oh, you're nice, but she owns horses and dogs and cats and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, quite short and honest and just a bit about yourself and what you're looking for. 
And how do you recommend when, say, I spotted a profile of somebody that I quite fancied and would like to get to know a bit better to see if there's any yeah. longevity in it? How would you recommend I strike up a conversation? Because I know that's one thing that people really feel quite nervous about when they yeah. connect with someone, particularly, uh, yeah. I guess. Well, I think definitely read their profile and pick something from their profile. So for example, I would say, hi, Sarah, how are you doing today? I see by your profile, you have a love of horses. Or well, I used to ride as well, so um, that would be great if we could chat or blah, blah, blah. So just pick something, you know, obviously be genuine, but pick something in their profile that's made you want to connect with them and chat about that. You know, it could be their love of animals or music or just something, but obviously definitely not, hi, gorgeous, would like to get to know you because... <laughs> that's not going to work and people are not going to respond in a positive way to that sort of opening line. Mm. And I guess kind of finally, you know, people, they, they join online dating because they inevitably want to get to the first date more often than not off, offline, but in current circumstances, this is not possible. So we're obviously seeing a lot of people connecting on social media thereafter or exchanging numbers and having yeah. video dates and all sorts of stuff. What would you recommend somebody to do if they wanted to take the plunge and ask for a date, but they didn't quite feel so confident? What, during lockdown? Yeah, and they want to get to a date. They've been chatting with someone that they yeah. connected with, but they're kind of dancing around it and nobody's yeah. taking the, the, making the first move. What would you suggest to kind of pluck up that courage? Well, I think if, you're, if you've been speaking for a while, and it is quite nice to speak for a while anyway, um, but yeah, just literally be honest and come out with it and say, you know, when this was over, I'd love to go for a coffee. Um, are you up for going for a coffee somewhere? And, and that's it. You don't have to arrange a big night out and put that pressure on, I think, of, you know, going to the Ritz or something. But a coffee just sounds nice. You know, just should we meet up for a coffee? Because then if that was me, I'd think, well, yeah, because if we don't get on, a coffee shop's quite easy to to escape from <laughs> rather than being dressed up for a dinner evening so a coffee sounds nice and I think that's quite it's not too pressurized then so I think either sex could just say you know would you like would you like to go for a coffee we've been chatting for a while um how does a coffee suit you and go mm -hmm. from there I guess um, singles today that do meet on your site can still have a coffee but online and at home <laughs> you know yeah, keep it short exactly. and sweet exactly but then you can obviously don't give out your mobile until you're absolutely confident. But yeah. if you're chatting on online and then you want to move to the next stage and give your mobile, then you can speak in person and you get to hear the person's voice and then know if you've got more of a connection. So it hasn't always got to be online or you could do like this, you know, video calling. Um, but obviously when you're confident, when you feel ready to do that, don't certainly don't give about your personal details until you're a hundred percent confident and ready well fingers crossed for lots more success yeah. stories coming your way denny from old style dating uh, we, we do offer honeymoon vouchers as well <laughs> and um yeah honeymoon and dinner vouchers you know we say if you if you go on a date on the second day let us know and um, we'll send you dinner vouchers of your choice and we offer honeymoon vouchers. So I'd love to give honeymoon vouchers out. I bet. That's one day, amazing. One day. You're, re you're really, you know, emotionally and physically involved. And that's so rare with um, online dating sites. It's, you yeah. know, there's no real algorithm to your site. It's a human being kind yeah, of... There's no algorithms at yeah. all. No, no algorithms, yeah. And, it, and a very simple to to join you know i although i'm married i joined about four for research and um i was getting fed up with the joining process they were essays all about you know your personality and this and that and that sort of thing you find out when you meet somebody you're giving it all away and i feel it's a bit like um a robotic matching and that's why i like the old style just when you just chat and you oh have you got 
you know, siblings and what you do for work. And I don't want all that written down before. I want to find that out or yeah. one would want to find that out. It's kind so of it's scraping a, it all back and keeping it really simple. Yeah, just simple. Um, it's just it's simple but old style, but on a modern platform. So if you can't beat them, join them. So <laughs> it's still on a website, but as simple as, yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for all Thank of your you. advice mm -hmm. and your time today. And I'm pretty sure that all of the singles kind of watching or, you know, tuning in to see what you've got to say will feel far more confident now that they're either oh, on yeah. the site or out there generally in online, yeah. the online dating space and not really sure what they're doing. So fingers crossed for lots more success stories at Old Style. Yeah. And um, speak again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.